Meet Micah DeCianti. And what are your pronouns? He, him. In the last year, he's transitioned to male. Many in the audience feel Beggs has an unfair advantage on the road to victory. Beggs is a transgender athlete. Drag queen performing in front of infants. Yes, infants. You ready for some controversy? Let's do it. Assalamu alaikum. What's going on, everybody? I'm here today with my number one fan. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the big shot. I got the A star right here. Ladies and gentlemen, um, what was your name again? Something about paradise? Smile to Jenna. Smile to Jenna. All right, nice. Smile to Jenna. Today, we are here to discuss the alphabets. No, not the letters. Mm -hmm. The people, okay. the community, mm. the controversy. What do you guys say in London? Controversy? Controversy. Controversy. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, look at my accent. Doing good? It's, it's actually better than I expected. Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you. My pleasure. I don't go that far. No, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, not too long ago, everybody knew what the T in LGBT stood for. A lot of people knew, yeah, there are trans men, trans women, cool. Everyone's adults living their lives. As a Muslim, you have your beliefs, you live your life. You have people who identify with certain communities living their lives, okay, we all live in the West Canada, UK, United States of America, and everyone is protected under the law. Live and let live, correct? Yeah. Until more recently. There seems to be a few things that have been accelerated in today's day and age. For some reason, the whole world has started going nuts. Just going absolute bananas. We see a skyrocketing in the trans movement in an unprecedented Fashion. I don't know if you've noticed this. Mm, definitely. Suddenly, we are seeing a surge, a tsunami of pronouns. Cody pronouns E M R R Z Z Z Z Z Z or really any neo pronouns that aren't Z her hers. But wait, there's more. White, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily mostly able-bodied, neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, Unitarian Universalist, non-monogamous, demi-low romantic. What? We are seeing people identifying as whatever they want to identify as. A woman in Norway believes she belongs to a different breed. She claims that she is a cat. Why? An adult baby is somebody who enjoys dressing up and acting like a baby. What? And I'm a girl. I was never allowed to be a little girl. So I'm filling that tank of little girl experiences. And unfortunately nowadays, whenever you try to speak about it, you're automatically silenced as a transphobe, as this, as that, and you can't even have a rational discussion. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced this among them as well? 100%. In fact, they, as a lobby, they're probably the strongest. Events of uh, many influential dais and um, Muslim activists have been cancelled because of the lobbying of LGBT more so than anyone else. So we are living in a time where we are having debates over who gets to use men's bathrooms, and who gets to use female bathrooms. Over alleged discrimination at a DC restaurant, a transgender woman says she was harassed when she went to the bathroom. And an attendant from the restroom asked to see my ID. They didn't ask anybody else. We're also living in a time where words and feelings are mattering more than facts. 